Alright, let's do it. I turned up a launch option, so this should work out. October. The color of the leaves is changing with the season. Mother Nature gave us a beautiful autumn. The Federation's victory at Ziegfall was a moment of triumph, and we remain on schedule to reach the capital. Unfortunately, a spell of bad weather trailing behind us brought our long supply train to a grinding halt. After months of tireless combat, the Ranger Corps is now on standby. And instead of launching a swift counterattack, the Empire has shown no signs of movement. It's possible they've chosen to shore up their defenses in the capital. Either way, for now we wait. And while we have this reprieve, we may as well enjoy it. I'm just going to limit the frames to 60. So quiet. It was until now. What, does Mr. Invincible get bored unless he's spraying bullets everywhere? I didn't say that. It's just... We're so close to the capital and yet so far. That's all Raz was trying to say. Exactly. Winter's only a couple months away, so why are we dragging our asses? Months? This war will be over in days. We're only blocked off from the mountains. The road north is wide open. All we need is a steady supply train. Then we can push all the way to the capital. That's true, I guess. When's the bad weather gonna clear up anyway? I'm observant, not psychic. I can't see that far off. But then again... What's wrong? It's too early in the season for rain clouds to be gathering in the mountains. It doesn't usually get so stormy up there until much later in the year. Uh, hmm. Better up there than down here. Last thing I want is to get rained on while I'm sitting on standby. Enough jibber-jabber. What we need are the three Bs. Bacon, beer, and babes. And we need them ASAP. Our rations are so small, I'm wasting away into a mummy. Says the guy who stole my bacon this morning. Well, it looked like you weren't gonna finish, so I ate it for you. I was enjoying my bread, not wolfing it all down. Oh, look! There it is! <coughs> so that's Einhemd. Looks like a nice town. <laughs> Raz can finally get his three Bs. All right, bacon, beer, and babes. But you'll have to foot the bill yourselves. This is still Imperial territory. Be on your best behavior. A lot of hustle and bustle for a small town. Luckily, there wasn't any collateral damage. They didn't even put up a fight. So everything's still up and running. Like nothing happened. Sucks we gotta buy our own stuff, though. How tight-fisted can you get? The army can't sign off on luxuries like alcohol and meat. Not even sweets? Yeah. 
you're going to pay me back double for that bacon. Otherwise, I'm taking some of your bread from every meal. Fine, you win. I'll bust open my piggy bank and buy out all the bacon in town. Hey, Miles, you can come with. I'm good. I was gonna go look for tank parts with Claude. Apparently, some of the shops here stock Imperial tech. If nothing else, Empire knows how to make a tank. Just get over here, you moron. Huh? Come on already. Huh? Wait, Claude! I'll make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Huh? Is Kai really that hungry? Oh, Rags, wait! Where are you going, boy? After sitting for so long, he probably wants to go on a walk. That makes two of us. Yeah. Shall we get going, then? Go where? After Rags. I don't want him scaring the townsfolk. Uh, of course. We're kind of his owners, after all. Huh? I can get down myself, thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Hurry up! We're gonna lose sight of him! Oh my god, Windows, fuck off. Oh, right. Never thought I'd see you playing matchmaker. Ah, oh, shut it. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to give them some alone time, too. Yeah, I can't expect them to forget the past. This happens so much, I swear to God. Never thought I'd see you playing matchmaker. Ah, oh, shut it. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to give them some alone time, too. Yeah, I... But it makes me feel awkward just watching them. Not that I'm making any assumptions. I just hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Well, they're not the only two who get some alone time. Huh? What do you mean? Damn it, you can be dead sometimes. I meant that you and me can, you know... Hey guys, what are you talking about? Never mind, forget it. Uh, Raz! Where are you going? The butcher's back here! What do you mean you're all out? Are you refusing service to the Federation Army? Sorry about him. He's got low blood sugar. Calm down, Raz. They're obviously sold out. Not a single piece of jerky? He's gotta be holding out on us. I'll ask if there are any other butchers in town. Mystery solved. Someone bought out their entire stock. What kind of sneaky rat bastards did that? Another squad. One that got here before us. Just give it up, Raz. I'll settle for bread instead of bacon. Mmm. Fluffy white bread. Fresh out of the oven. Invaders? <laughs> he sure does love kids. Such a good boy. Yeah. It takes a rare breed to make it into special ops. For dogs and humans. Wait, hold on. You're talking combat support? Oh, you didn't know? Ragnarok isn't a pet. He's our squad mate. Has his own rank and everything. No way! Karen thinks he used to be a rescue dog trained up in the northern mountains. We found him wandering around our camps. 
He was just a stray, so we took him in. Pretty soon, he started helping out with rescue missions. It wasn't long before he became our first official canine unit. Wow, you're a good, good, good boy, Rex. Look at the big doggy! Mommy, can I pet him? Ah! Are you okay? She's all right. Come on, honey, don't cry. Can you stand up? <laughs> I'm sorry. My daughter didn't mean to bother you. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Apologize to the nice soldiers. Now. But, Mom, you said I shouldn't talk to the Federation. That's not what I... I said no talking to strangers. Let's go, Riley. I guess we're unwanted guests here. The Federation may have taken the town peacefully, but to them, we're still foreign invaders. I knew that coming in, but... It's rough. Come on, Rax. Let's go, boy. Hold up, Claude. Do you think this shop has those parts Miles wanted? This must be the shop Miles was talking about. Wow, they've got everything. Oh, wow. It's all made in the Empire. Craftsmanship is unbelievable. Come on in. Oh, uh, pardon me. Welcome, sir and madam. I must say, you have quite the discerning eye. We don't get high-quality goods like this too often, especially this far west. How'd you get your hands on Imperial Tech? Black market? More or less. Let's call them uh, unofficial channels. The parts themselves are legitimate, of course. The Empire was in such a hurry to retreat, they left all sorts of cargo lying around. Sure, but selling it out in the open? Oh, I'm just skimming a little off the top. This junk's a drop in the Imperial bucket. Ah, uh, one army's trash is another's treasure. I'll swing back later with my driver. And I'll be here when you're ready to buy. Thanks. See ya. Oh, wait! Your squad isn't heading north, is it? Uh, probably? Most likely, yes. Then you should watch out for the Winter Witch. It's an old legend around these parts. Come wintertime, the north grows so cold that everything ices over. Everything! Horses can't move, guns won't fire. Frozen in time by the Winter Witch's curse. So what, it's a big blizzard? That's fine. This war will be over before the first frost. Besides, it's just another fairy tale. All stories have a kernel of truth. The Imperial Army's no stranger to the blizzards of the North. And they'd sooner fight the entire Federation than be caught in the Winter Witch's claws. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. <laughs> I just like you two. Seeing a happy couple in wartime reminds me of when I was young and in love. Uh, hold on. It's not like we're dating or anything. Ah, no need to be shy. It's not like it's against the rules. War makes you forget about what's really important. With death all around, it's easy to forget how to live. Peace and love. That's what this world needs. Settle down. Raise a family. Grow old together. Hmm? I told you, it's not like that! All right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Oh, uh, this isn't awkward. Hope you lovebirds live happily ever after. Eyebrows. Unreal. All the bread in town, too? I don't know who bought out the entire bakery, but I will find them, and I will kill them. Kai, over there! It's the Food Bandits!
Them? They're from Squad F! Damn it! Give me back my meat! Hand over that bread now! Oh, ah! What are you doing? We're on your side! Oh no! They're fighting each other! Claude! You've gotta stop them! Stand your ground, brave knights. Don't let them take a single slice of Lieutenant Victor's bacon! What are you idiots thinking stacking the bread that high? It's going to get squished! Hey! Get your paws off my ham! And my jerky! Enough! Cease this at once! Crystal, did you order this mountain of food? Uh, well, yes, ma'am. What's going on here, Minerva? Your jackbooted thugs tried to rob us of our supplies. Only because you jackholes bought everything out in the first place! All of it was purchased out of my own pocket. Is it a crime to support local businesses? It is when other people go hungry because of it! Where's that covered in your code of chivalry? Not only that, it may stir up anti-federation sentiments from the townspeople. I'll have to report this to HQ. N now see here! <clears throat> it... It's true. A knight must show compassion. I'll allow Squad E to challenge us for it. We're both proud warriors, you and I. Let's settle this in a mock duel. On the off chance that you win, we'll share our food. Assuming that could happen in a thousand years. And if we win, to the victor belong the spoils! Minerva, these brutes aren't worthy of your mercy. They took my bread, Claude. My fluffy bread. I'm taking it back. Fine. But if we play along with Minerva's game, we're playing to win. Squad E, suit up. Hell yeah! I'll show them how far a man will go for meat! Yeet! squads F and E. I've got this. My turn. 